Welcome to another tutorial from Studio X, and today we're going to be looking at how to fix some problems with dynamics in Cinema 4D. So I have a pretty uh, simple scene here. As you can see, it's a bunch of bottle caps. And just to start from scratch so we can figure out all of the problems, I'm going to delete all of the dynamic tags. So right now we just have a normal scene, and if I play, nothing happens because there are no dynamics. You're going to right click on floor go to simulation tags and choose collider body. And now because my cap is inside of the cloner, I'm gonna right click on cap, go to simulation tags and hit rigid body. Let's go ahead and click play. And as you can see the caps drop. Let's make this 300 frames so we can actually see what happens for a little bit longer. So you see the caps drop and it seems to be fine at first, but then you start realizing that the caps don't stop moving. They're basically jiggling and bouncing on the floor, which is probably not something that's gonna happen in real life. They're not just gonna be forever bouncing. And that could be your first issue. So let's go ahead and fix that first. The problem is that it is calculating probably every frame or um, five times a frame. So it just keeps thinking that there's an action still happening behind the scenes. So to fix that, go to edit, project settings, and there's a, a couple of different tabs here, but you're gonna click on dynamics and you are going to go into the expert tab. And here you can see steps per frame, it's set to five. I'm gonna change that to 25 and then maximum solver iterations per step. I'm just gonna bring that up to 25. You don't have to use these exact numbers, you can um, slowly crank it up like you can try 10 and then 15 and then 20 25 50 um, I probably wouldn't go over 50 unless you're doing something extreme because the higher you're gonna put this number the more time it's gonna take to calculate each frame so let's go ahead and take a look at our simulation now so you can see the caps actually drop in a lot more realistic way and after bouncing they actually end up slowing down and stopping so finally, that is actually working fine. That's actually doing the way we want it to be. Another issue you could be having inside of Cinema 4D Dynamics is that your objects aren't reacting the way they're supposed to. So here we have a, a cap and we have a ball. Let's add a color to it. We have a nice ball. And as you can see, when you hit play, the ball just lands on top of the cap and it's not going inside of it. And that is because the shape is set to automatic. And that's usually to calculate dynamics the fastest. And as you can see, it stops exactly at the top. And that's because it doesn't know that the bottle cap is hollow because that would you would need to calculate a lot more in order for it to basically realize that. So if you click on your dynamic tab under the cap and you go into shape in the collision tab, Instead of automatic, let's do moving mesh. And let's go all the way back and hit play. So you can see the dynamics are working a lot slower, but the ball and the cap are actually interacting. So now you can see the ball is inside of the cap instead of on top. So that's good and fine, but you can see that it takes a lot more time now to calculate. And there's a way to fix that. If you go into the display settings, you can see that this cap is made of a lot of polygons and um, you know that's gonna take extra time to calculate because it needs to basically imagine every single edge, calculate every little piece, but maybe you still need the ball to fall into the cap, but you're gonna be pretty far away. Maybe, maybe you don't need to see it hitting every ridge. Uh, so in order to make the calculation faster, you can actually make a proxy of this cap. So to do that, you can, it depends on your shape, but for this example, for the cap, I can just make a cylinder. I'm gonna put it under the cap. I'm gonna zero out all of the dimensions just so it's at the exact same point as the cap is, except I do need to rotate it 90 degrees here, perfect. And I'm gonna go into this view here And I'm just gonna make this about the same size. That looks pretty good. 
the same height. That looks good. That looks about perfect. You could go into a lot of detail for this. I'm just gonna make it not super exact, but just so you can kind of tell just for the sake of the tutorial. And you can see already this um, cylinder has a lot less, a lot less detail. Uh, we can even bring it down a little bit more. So right now it's at 36 rotation segments. Let's do something like 28. Let's make the object editable. I'm just going to hit UL to select the loop. Extrude inner. I'm just going to make a little bit extra segments. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to go into my, my lines. Again, hit UL. Select the loop. As you can see, this goes um, closer to the cap. And I'm just going to scale this in. That looks pretty good. Oh, you can see um, that they're actually disconnected from the bottom. So what you need to do is select the whole shape, click Optimize. And now we can go into UL, select our loop, and scale it. Perfect. I'm going to hit UL, select this loop, scale it to about the dimension of the cap. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to go into my faces, hit UL, make this, uh, make this a little bit smaller, go into extrude inner, there we go, and then extrude and extrude this onto the inside of the cap. So down to here, and then maybe again extrude inner. And then this we can actually just bring down. Perfect. So basically what you made is you made a proxy of the bottle cap. And now I'm going to take it out of the parent. So this is the actual cap. And let's call this cap proxy just so we keep things nicely named. And we can actually delete the dynamic tag. Bring our cap into our cap proxy. And then put a brand new dynamic tab onto the proxy. Oh, I misspelled proxy here. Whoops, that's embarrassing. Proxy, there we go. And once again, for the collision, for the shape, you're gonna do moving mesh. And what I usually do is I turn on these green tabs here for the object that I need, and then I make red for the proxy so that it doesn't show up in the render and it doesn't even it's not even visible in the scene. So now when you hit play, you can see that the ball falls inside and is still interacting with the walls. And you can make it, you know, more accurate by modeling the proxy model better. So you can see here the the ball doesn't fully fully touch the proxy, the actual floor. So you can just keep modeling it slightly better, or you can just go into the um, size increment and use a zero centimeter margin. And as you can see, there we go. Now it's touching the actual floor and it is now looks like it's touching the actual floor of the, um, of the cap. And you can see that the simulation is a lot faster than doing it with the bottle cap itself. So using that same principle, let's get rid of the ball. Let's get rid of our original cap. Put the proxy into the cloner that we had before. And you can see we have a lot of bottle caps here. And they're moving a lot better than if you were simulating just the cap by itself with the moving mesh selected. So this can help speed up your process. Um, and 
just make your dynamics work a lot faster and you can be a lot more efficient without having those weird problems of bouncing around on the surface or um, things clipping through each other. Um, so these are basically some tips to make your dynamic to make your dynamics work better inside of Cinema 4D. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to be notified when I'm posting more tutorials. I'll see you guys in the next one.